Ancestors have survived. They've laid their eggs and are returning to the sea. Brain has triumphed over brawn, and soon they won't be such soft targets. Evolution starts to give them weapons to fight back. Over millions of years, fish's gills adapt to form the first jaw with the very first teeth. Now they're equipped to go on the attack. Some develop tougher bones and muscles in their fins and shoulders, which become the first limbs. This is where our arms and legs began. With this four-limbed design, our ancestors finally haul themselves out of water onto land. This is the giant amphibian, Hynerpeton, the prototype land dweller for the next 300 million years. Hynerpeton are over a meter and a half in length much larger than most amphibians today. They've carved out a home along the water's edge. Arthropod enemies still exist, but they've shrunk since their Brontoscorpio glory days. Still, life for this pioneer is far from easy. It's a whole new world. In the last 50 million years, plants have developed into trees. And with nothing around to eat them, they've grown into vast forests pumping oxygen into the air. Hynerpeton has evolved complex lungs to exploit this new oxygen. His lungs are sacs, just like ours, and he breathes like we do, forcing air in and out so his blood can absorb more oxygen. We still rely on the design developed in this strange amphibian. Hynerpeton can breathe on land, but he's still waterbound. His skin is much thinner than ours, and it dries out in minutes, so he has to keep it wet. And water is a danger zone. <laughs> 